This is the M230 chain gun. Designed and manufactured in the 1970s by Hughes Helicopters, now manufactured by Northrop Grumman, it is an air-cooled 30mm cannon mounted on the AH-64 Apache attack helicopter, capable of engaging most infantry and in armor. Welcome to Scenario Fulfillment, I am Dasher, and today we will be taking a look at the M230 chain gun. The weapon has an effective range of 1500 to 1700 meters, but can engage targets beyond that to approximately 4000 meters with degraded accuracy. It has a rate of fire of 600 to 650 RPM, and its muzzle velocity is 805 meters per second. Sources for the barrel life vary from 10,000 rounds to 25,000 rounds. And according to Northrop Grumman's data sheet, it has a reliability of 22,000 mean rounds between failure, and it can traverse just about 90 degrees in each direction. Now, the M230 isn't a laser beam of a weapon. It's known as an area weapon system. If you've seen live leak footage of Apaches going ham with the M230, you've probably noticed the bullet impact spread, and that is by design. The ammunition used on its bad boy is M789HEDP, or High Explosive Dual Purpose. Dual purpose meaning it gives it some penetration capability, so you won't be killing T90s with these, but it can also fragmentate. So combine that with the area effects the M230 has, it has some interesting results. Also, the Apache can carry 1,200 rounds of 30mm ammunition, and that is a lot. If you don't need that much, it can be knocked down to a maximum of 300 rounds, and the rest of the stow space can be fitted with an extra fuel tank, called a Robbie tank. The weapon can be set to have burst limitations by the crew. This would be 10, 20, 50, and 100. But you can turn this off if you want to fire all 1200 rounds off. There's a few ways the weapon can be trained. One way would be by the co-pilot gunner's main controls. Another way would be by their helmet display system. They can just look in a direction and the weapon points where they look. The pilot can do this too with their helmet as well, and even fire the weapon. Alright, let's take a look at the basic operations of the weapon. So, we have an Apache targeting some vehicles and infantry. Look at these sketchy guys. Like I said before, the gun can be aimed by the co-pilot gunner, like through the TADS or Target Acquisition and Designation Sites. This thing. Where it looks, the gun looks when selected. Point and shoot. Oh, I forgot to tell you to fire the laser if you wanted accurate range information. And the gun will adjust accordingly. How do you know the laser's on? Well, these hit markers show up on the screen. So point, laze, and shoot. If automatic laser ranging doesn't work, then the range can be manually set. And if you made it this far into the video for me to explain what this little upward hook is about on the gun, that is a cable cutter for the wire strike protection system on the helicopter. Thank you for watching. Help the channel grow by liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting. I will see you in the next one. Stay safe down there.